Hey guys, and welcome to this episode of XOXO Emo. We're actually gonna be talking about something a little bit more serious this go around, the coronavirus. First and foremost, we wanna say that we are so sorry for all of the brides and grooms affected by this. But in the other light, this is the person that you get the opportunity to marry and say I do to. This is the love of your life, and you should be open to marrying them in front of City Hall or in front of, I don't know, your house, your parents' backyard with some dandelions in your hand. We get it, but marriage is the reason for the wedding, and we hope that you understand that. Now, let's pivot. We're gonna be talking about some problems and some solutions. That way you can walk away corona scarce. Stay tuned. Got an email from your venue. They're saying, hey, we're canceling this portion of your wedding. We're canceling these weddings for the next couple of months. What's the first thing that you do? So the first thing I would recommend is that you go ahead and check with your wedding insurer. Hopefully, like we've always mentioned, you've gotten wedding insurance. And from there, you can go ahead, take a look online, see what coverages are covered. Afterwards, you're gonna wanna look at and reread all of your contracts. Go through all of the fine print. What does your floor say about getting your deposit back at a time frame like this? What about your caterer? Is he gonna give you your money back? Next thing I would recommend is to compromise. Obviously, no one wanted Corona to happen. Now, go to all of your vendors and make sure that you're asking these few questions. What other dates do you have available? Are you still willing to work on my wedding sometime this year? Are you willing to give me back a refund in the case that you do not? And are you still open to working with me in general? Within that compromisation, I would highly recommend going with a different day of the week. Most weddings are planned for Saturdays, but if you go for a Friday or even like a Monday, Tuesday, I'm sure you'll be getting a little bit of your money back. Ask vendors for recommendations. This is the perfect time to go to your caterer and say, hey, do you have a bartender that actually works for my date? Or to go to your venue and say, hey, is there someone else that you would highly recommend that I work with versus the person that I had before? Next tip, this is the perfect time to purchase some of your items from other third-party brides. So for example, if you were supposed to have your wedding this Saturday, your florist has already brought all of your flowers into the city, but your venue is canceled. If you've got another bride that is in your area that is still having their wedding, offer to sell your flowers at a small discounted rate. This way you can recoup some of your funds and that bride gets to have a little bit more at her wedding as well. I also highly recommend that this is a time that you go local. If you live in Charlotte or Atlanta, New York, wherever, make sure that you're hiring small and local businesses in your area. This is a time where travel might be a little fickle. So going with somebody that's local is going to guarantee that they'll be in your city at the time and date that you requested. Don't be scared to ask your stationary professional for a discounted rate on some of your updates. If you're going with vinyl or if you're going with chalkboard, um, something that can be erased and redone easily, I would highly recommend just asking that that's done complimentary just to update your wedding date. Now, if it's something that needs to be printed, I say nix the printing altogether. There's no reason to waste more paper. Literally go on to Evite or just MailChimp, a typical email or even a phone call or text message to update your wedding guests on what's happening next. Last but not least, I highly encourage you to thank your wedding vendor team. At this time, they probably already planned your entire wedding or were damn near close to it. So at this moment, they're gonna be planning a completely different wedding with a completely different date, possibly adjusting your timeline, possibly um, ordering more things for you. Make sure that you take the time to just thank them for their time. They didn't have to do it. They didn't have to be flexible for you, but they were. So make sure that you're giving them a friendly, positive attitude when you're speaking with them and just showing them your appreciation because at the end of the day, you're not paying them anything extra for the hard work that they're putting together. So now that we've discussed the preface to your wedding, let's say that we get all the way down to your big day. Some things I would highly recommend are providing a bathroom box. That bathroom box could incorporate everything from hair ties to hairspray, some tampons for our ladies, gum for our gentlemen, but make sure that it does also include a antibacterial soap and even an antibacterial lotion that can go on the countertops of the sinks. I would also highly recommend putting some hand sanitizer stations, making people feel a little bit more comfortable about the fact that they are out of sight of their houses during this time frame. but you've thought about the opportunity. 
uh, if they're doing, or if you're doing any type of stations or doing a buffet, provide hand sanitizer at the front of that station or a nice little hand wipe that they could put at, the, at each plate. I think that would be such a luxurious touch point to incorporate. Just at every turn, letting people know that you've thought about coronavirus, COVID-19, and that you're well aware and appreciate the fact that they're there in their presence, but you also want them to be safe. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you for watching, and I can't wait to share another episode of XOXO Emo with you.